Take everything but leave me something Something I can carry all by myself I grew up in Chad's Ford, Pennsylvania, about 20 minutes south of Philly. The town I went to school in, where my dad went to work, and everything was Wilmington, Delaware. I started playing music because my dad and mom wanted me to. I have two older brothers. They, they didn't take any lessons, no guitar, no piano, nothing like that. And so by the time I came around, my parents thought, come hell or high water, we're going to make this girl study music. My grandmother was an excellent pianist, my grandmother on my father's side. My dad's a phenomenal musician. He's one of those guys who can hear anything and play it right back perfectly. I started taking piano lessons when I was 11. I picked up the guitar soon after that. Wilmington, Delaware, there was an amazing guitar teacher there, a guy named John Darty. You had to have straight A's to study with him. And you had to write an essay that answered the question, what is music? And I can remember being 11 years old, sitting on the green shag carpet of my parents' living room trying to figure out what music was. And the rest is history. So I studied with John every week until high school. When I moved up to Boston to go to Harvard, um, John happened to move his family up to Boston as well, so I continued studying with him. He was the person I went to when I decided that I wanted to sort of jump off this path that I had been on at Harvard and go across the river and check out Berklee College of Music and, and really just take music to another level in my life. My first album, No Love Lost, started when I moved to Canada in 2004. So I didn't have a whole network of players that I could tap into. So I recorded half of it in Guelph, and then the other half I recorded in Boston. So I pretty much spent the summer of 2006 driving back and forth from Guelph to Boston. book I'm reading Pages falling out To the mouth of someone else Take your red perfect mouth It's interesting time It's every man for him you can carry cast away all else you can have the sky baby got no use for it now so don't go asking me why you can have the album telephone game I wanted to write a new batch of tunes and came up with this idea to ask my fans to submit stories to sort of spur the creative process. I put on my website an invitation for fans to send me poems, essays, journal entries. They could send me anything they wanted. They could send it via email, they could send it via letter, they could send pictures, they could send postcards, they could leave a message on my voicemail box, they could do any of those things. And I would read what they said and, and you know, to roll it around in my head and see if a song came out. There's a lot of songs about letting go. I, I didn't set out to do that, but when I look back at the collection of songs, you, a song like, you know, You Can Have the Sky. The lyric is, you can have the sky, baby. You know, I've, I, don't, I don't have any use for it now. Same kind of thing. Take everything, but leave me something. You know, something I can forget you by. Something I can fall. On the Telephone Game record, I basically hired a dream band. A lot of players that I can't believe that I actually got them to play on my record. Um, first and foremost, Terry Lynn Carrington, one of the best dr living drummers in the world. Huge hero of mine. When I was at Berkeley, she was around. I just called her up and asked her if she would play on the record. I had worked with her on a previous record. Um, so she was down for it, but she's just amazing. It's interesting time. of a man for himself Cause I'm 
too tired to carry anything else. You can have the sky, baby. Cause I got no use for it now. Don't go asking me why you can have.